Hi guys, it's Patricia and today it's my non scentsy Wax Empties for the month of July. So I have my bin. I tend to warm mostly scentsy, but I also warm other wax and burn candles. So I'm going to pause the video and we're going to get into what I warmed this month and what I thought about it. Okay, so I usually start with the candles, so let's get into those. I finished up, I think, eight candles this month. So the first one I'll talk about is from DW Home and it is called Paradise Escape. It's a two wick and I'm not sure how many ounces are in here. It's kind of covered up with the sticker. 16 or 15, 15 I think. And this one here I got at Winners on clearance for $10, two wick. Yeah, this one here, I did write the scent notes down. It's basically tropical plumeria petals golden pineapple and guava and papaya and so it's like a tropical paradise fruity floral tangy um this one here did give me a little bit of trouble with the burn very early on it had these ledges um where the wax stuck out quite far and then it, it kind of burned down below and eventually that wax did melt and kind of carry down and after that happened, that probably was the first third, and after that it just went down like a champ, no problems whatsoever. And I probably could even got more burn out of that tiny little bit there, but um, I stopped burning it. I would not repurchase, but um, it's kind of goes to show that a lot of the DWs do self-correct, and the strength of it was probably like a five. The next one I really, really enjoyed, it's also from DW Home, a two wick and vanilla bean. This one, I really like this one. Now it looks kind of ugly there now, but this burned down. I don't know if you can see how little wax is left. I friggin' love this candle. Okay, and I got the scent notes for this one. It's fragrant vanilla beans, creamy vodka, buttercream frosting, spun sugar, and spice. Not very much spice. But this was a great candle for, for a vanilla candle. I really liked this. I could smell it when I lit it. I would definitely repurchase this again. I would say medium to medium plus on the scent throw. I really enjoyed this one. Two wick vanilla bean from DW Home. Okay, so let's do Bath and Body Works. I finished up three Bath and Body Works. So the first one I'll talk about is this, I think it's a four ounce tester candle in Autumn Woods. The scent notes on this are walnut, lavender, and white amber. A little bit of smudginess on the sides. These burn okay, but sometimes they do tunnel. This is a very cologne fall scent. I was melting, I think, Cambridge from Scentsy, and, and um, when it was dying down, I decided to light this one up and kind of finish it off. So this one would be um, not a repurchase for me, but I don't mind the scent. It's a fairly strong cologne type autumnal scent, and for a small candle, you could definitely smell it. It wasn't extremely strong, but it could you could get some scent off of it. The next two are the same fragrance, so I burned a three wick and a one wick and key lime pie. These ones here are great candles, really really like this. To me, I don't have the scent notes, oh maybe it's on the bottom here, let me see, oh yes we have it. Zesty key lime, graham cracker crust and a dollop of meringue. So on, on our tester candles we have the scent notes here in Canada, but on the big guys we don't, we just have a lot of other stuff and that one's really grungy, I don't know why. This one here, um, let's talk about this one first. Okay, the scent. To me, it reminds me a lot of like lime sherbet that's melted over like angel food cake. So it doesn't really, I think the dollop of meringue is giving me that angel food cake vibe. Sometimes I get the graham crackers, but not very often. And the lime is not bang in your face zesty. It's kind of a soft lime, but pretty. This thing really scents up a room. It did really, really well for me. I would say like seven or eight out of 10. Yeah. Now, one thing I wanna say is this thing didn't give me any problems at all with the burn, not one problem. And the other thing is it burned really, really slow. So I felt like I got a lot of life out of this candle. And I kind of burned this alongside as well, this one wick, just to kind of supplement. And I had a pretty good result with that one. This one doesn't smell as strong as the three wick, but 
I probably would repurchase this. Um, not in multiples, but I would repurchase. So let's move on to Yankees. I finished three Yankees. I finished a small jar in Cuban mojito. So this is kind of a lime alcoholic, almost like club soda in there. Smells good. Not very strong. I mean, it's just a one wick small jar, but this one burned fairly well. I didn't, I don't recall having any issues with this. And I think I got it for three bucks. It smells a little, it smells a little burnt down in there now. Ugh. Anyway, this was a nice, I love lime scents, so I kind of had that going along my, side my key lime pie. And I finished up two large jar in the Yankee family. Um, first off, I finished a large jar in Tutti Frutti. This is a very, like, it's like fruity, like fruit punch, strawberry, raspberry, candy, lollipop, just like the picture. <laughs> they probably put those pictures on for a reason. Because that's what you get with this. Um, I did get a little bit of luck kind of getting it down lower than sometimes I do, but there's still a lot of wax there. It does smell a little bit burnt as well. But, and I did have a little bit of soot with this one. You can kind of see a little bit of soot. Um, but this thing burned very, very well. The only problem was the soot. I didn't have any problems at all. Pulled out fine. No smudging. You know, it was a great performing candle. I think sometimes the wick would get a little crazy like mushroom, and that, was, that obviously is operator error. <laughs> the second large jar I finished off was black coconut. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I don't start a candle and finish it all in the same month. I kind of, whatever I'm melting, if a candle that I have goes with it or the, the melt is dying down, sometimes I will light up a candle. And this one was a beautiful candle, black wax. Um, I took a picture and put it on Instagram, probably when the wax was about here, I took a picture, the flame looked like it was like the sun setting and you could see the dark of the wax. It looked like it went in line with the, um, the shoreline. It was very, very pretty. This scent here, I love the scent. It's like a sexy coconut. It's like got a little bit of woodsiness. It's got like almost like a floral. I think I looked it up. I think it has coconut, cedar wood, and some sort of floral. I can't remember. This one here is very light. I would say like if I had to give it a number, maybe like three out of ten max. But man, it's a sexy scent. It's so nice. And I did not have one problem with the burn. This thing was a terrific burner and like not an ounce of soot. So I, I don't know. Would I repurchase this? I don't know. I did really like the scent. Didn't love the, the scent throw, but I did really like it. And this one, I forgot to say, this one was strong. So this one was strong. This one, not strong. <laughs> I finished up two retail wax clamshells. I finished up Sensational's Taste of the Tropics, which is grilled pineapple and island melon coconut. I got these on sale here in Canada. I think they were like about $2 each, which is probably the regular price in the U.S. This is really nice. Um, does really well in my laundry room. Lasts a long time in my laundry room, which is a mini warmer. Does not last as long as in, in a full-size warmer. Pretty good strength on this one. I would say a medium plus. Nice pineapple and um, a little bit of like exotic coconut melon kind of vibe with that. It's very, very nice. Now this one is a pretty strong scent. It is Simple Romance. This one I got down when I was in Vegas. This is a friggin' strong scent. Woo, it's described as set the mood with woodsy vanilla. If you warmed this in a small bedroom, I don't think there's any action happening in that bedroom. You probably could stay in it. Strong, it's pretty strong. In my open concept layout, it is a boomer. So if you like strong scents, pick this one up. And I find it does last a fairly long time. So that is Simple Romance. Okay, so for vendor wax, I will go through this quickly. American vendor wax will do case creations first. I finished up an orange cranberry surprise. Very nice, lace and soft. It's not a tart, tart cranberry. It's almost like it's got cranberry, orange, and sugar cane. That's what it reminds me of. I like that one. I have a few more. I finished up three Sea Island Rainbows. The scent notes on Sea Island Rainbows are Grapefruit and Alex's Rainbow. And Alex's Rainbow is a fruity candy blend. This one was really, really good. I put this down on my open layout and man oh man did it ever perform. And it was so nice. I mean the grapefruit and it had like fruity candy, like a sweet fruity candy, kind of against that tart grapefruit. This one I would definitely repurchase again. That is Sea Island Rainbows. Like that one and it did well. 
Okay, from Rainbow Melts, I finished up a gumdrops, which is sweet spiced gumdrops. This one was just average for me. It wasn't as strong as I was expecting. It was a soft, spicy, um, kind of like tangy candy scent. Um, yeah. Thank you to Danielle. She's the one that gave this to me, so I really appreciate it. That's the only Rainbow Melts I've ever tried. I definitely want to try more of her wax. From Super Tarts, I finished Tonks. Tonks is Magically Delicious Raspberry and Pink Sugar. This one here was from March of 2018. This was not a favorite for me. I got it on a D stash. I think it's, I can definitely smell what I think is Magically Delicious because I've never smelled that before on its own. I can smell some raspberry and I can smell some pink sugar and I think it's the Magically Delicious that I'm not sure about. I'd love to get some Magically Delicious just to try on its own, but this one I'm not sure about. I would not repurchase it. It was just okay. Uh, the next one is Sarah Jane from Super Tarts. Same thing from a D stash. This one was kind of grungy inside. So I'm, you know, I was like, ugh, I gotta use that up. And it's funny because there's one, one cube gone when I got on the D stash. So that is very solid now. And then these are all soft. And I love playing with them. <laughs> it's like, you feel like you're playing a musical instrument. Um, but anyway, I could do that all day. This one is described as sweet lavender, mac, apple, and sugar milk. You can definitely get sugar milk, so if you don't like that, you may not like this. Lavender and mac apple can be really, really strong. They're not super strong in this. Now, mind you, I did kind of warm this in my son's room, which is Scentsy Warmers. One of them's a 25 watt bulb warmer. Actually, both of them at that time were. And um, they are pretty hot for the bulb warmers. Like, I, some of them are hotter than others, so these are and it did well. If you have a really strong scent like Super Tarts, you can kind of get away with it, in my opinion, in a Scentsy Warmer. And it, if you find them too strong, sometimes it'll relax the scent a little bit for you. From Zape, I finished Never Never Land. This one is described as cotton candy, vanilla sugar, and strawberry. This one was pretty good. I liked this one. If I were, This one I warmed really early in the month. Now the, the clam sh smell the clamshell smells like skunk, but the scent wasn't too overwhelmed with that. Didn't kind of transfer over in the warmer. But in, in here smelling it now, it just not But yeah, this one, it does kind of give like a pink sugar vibe to me, so. Okay, so that's it for Canada, Let, or the US. Let's get into Canada. I'll go through this as quickly as possible. From the lily pad in Nova Scotia, I had all summer long. I don't have the scent notes for this, but it's a really beautiful scent. Love it. Not super strong. This is all soy wax. Mmm, it's so good. I love this scent. I had this since April, so I'm wondering if if I would have warmed it sooner, if it would have been stronger. But if sometimes she goes to vendor events around my area, I might try this one again because I really, really liked it. Same thing for this one. It's called Avalanche, and I have the notes. It's white pepper, sage, balsam, eucalyptus, citrus, musk, ozone, lavender, and traces of cherry. Sounds like a lot. This was really, really nice, but again, not very strong. Oh, I got the, I got the notes again. <laughs> yeah, but I really like, I think I like all summer long better. So um, I should look up the scent notes and maybe I could reproduce that on a customs with somebody else. From Mandela Melts, I finished up three two ounce scent shots. I think I've got a few of her items left. I'm trying to work really hard getting through them. Just in general, Mandela Melts is kind of inconsistent for me. So all these were light. And I have something to say here in a second. This first one was drowsy. The scent notes are lavender, lemon, and mint. The second one I finished up was Abra. The scent notes are lavender, laundry, and pink sugar. I think this one did a little bit better for my memory because of the laundry. Uh, still light though. I would say light to medium on that one. And the third one was lavender lemonade. I did really like the scent on cold and I'm not a big lavender fan. I got all these on a D sash, but yeah, I could smell this all day. It was a little bit of a light performer. I would wanted it to be stronger. With Mandela Melts, she told her group that her wax supplier has kind of gone out of business, I believe. So she bought a whole bunch of wax, and I think she's good until right after Christmas. Then she's going to be reformulating with a new wax. And she thinks she might have to go with a para soy blend. I believe this is all soy wax, which she was hoping to go with all soy again. But if she goes with para soy, I have a feeling it's going to do better for me. So I, I don't mind the change. So I'm going to see, I mean, there's one that I've, I've got partially warmed right now. I don't know the name, but I friggin' love it and it's doing well. 
So I get inconsistent results with her, but if I can find a few scents that I really, really like, I would love to try them in her new wax formulation when she gets going. Probably, I'm guessing it takes a, she said it takes a few months to kind of get things organized, but I would love to try some of her other scents in a new wax formulation. See if I can get better results. For Make Sense Candles, I'm gonna go through these quickly. I used up a lot of samples because these bags do not sound like polypropylene bags to me. And I did message um, Cindy, the owner, and she said they were, but I'm just wondering if somebody told her they were, but they're really not. But anyway, uh, maybe she bought them from a supplier and, and had to use them up, but but I really don't think, they seem more like Ziploc. But anyway, water watermelon lemonade is basically lemon, sugar, and watermelon. This I didn't get any throw from, which is very disappointing. The next one is True Love's Kisses. This one is orange, lemon, cherries, Jasmine violets on a mild musky background. This one was okay. I definitely got a scent throw from that one, but it wasn't big on scent appeal for me. This was strawberry kiwi. I put this in my child's bathroom. It was light, but I would say light to medium. Not a repurchase, but thank you so much for the sample. This one was a bit stronger, strawberry satsuma. And yeah, this was a couple pieces, and I don't think I'm big into strawberry scents, but... Yeah, I can't smell anything here now. I just worried, I was just worried about these bags. Wanted to finish them up. So these are, are stronger, these feel different. This is Blackberry Fizz, same company, Makes Sense Candles, blackberries, strawberries, pomegranate, mandarin, grapefruit, and lime. This was very fruity, didn't have any fizz, and it reminded me of those Rockaberry coolers. Again, I told you about my drinking experience, an underage drinking experience that went bad and ended up you know, praying to the porcelain gods. So this scent I would not repurchase because it brings back memories, but it definitely was a good, nice, strong scent. This one was fairly strong. It's called Nana's Apple Butter, which is spicy apple and warm buttery background. This one was just okay. It had a slight, almost stale note, almost like cookies that were stale. I don't know why I picked that up, but that's the only way I could describe it. Almost like a dry, almost like a dry zucchini bread kind of smell. Anyway, the next two are very, very strong performers. This is chocolate covered cherries. They were like, they look exactly like chocolate covered cherries. These things, this thing threw very, very well and for a long time. So that is chocolate covered cherries. And this one, I'm definitely rebuying this, like no question. Loved, loved, loved this. It was sweet dreams. And let me read you the notes and prepare yourself. <laughs> Sugared lavender, peppermint and creamy marshmallow. I guess I'm starting to come around to lavender, at least sweet lavenders. This is sugared lavender. So sugared lavender, peppermint, and marshmallow. And usually peppermint is just bang in your face. This was like the perfect amount. The lavender was perfect. The marshmallow was perfect. I couldn't get enough of this. This is a good one. It's called Sweet Dreams. Okay, lastly, we have Tallulah Po. I have a few things. We will go through the clams first. I have Island Life, which is Hawaiian Tropic and Salty Sea Air. Not being into salty sea air, if I could remove that, I would like this better. And I just kind of figured this out, you know, after you buy a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, the next one is, that one was, I would say, medium in strength. The next one was Coconut Grove. This is warm vanilla and creamy coconut. I would say this is a light to medium scent, but very long lasting. Reminds me a lot of my husband. He loves scents like this, like vanilla coconut scents, warm and creamy. Um, I think he likes that like Vaseline the, in the brown bottle. It smells like coconut. So I, this reminds me of him. So that is pretty good. And we have Boys of Summer. This one here is Shaving Cream and Ocean Avenue. And Ocean Avenue I think has some white florals, other stuff I can't remember. This, yeah, it's a fresh, you definitely can get the shaving cream and you definitely get like the floral. So it's like a fresh bit of a soapy twist to that one. And that was about a medium on the scent throw. Um, again, on the sample kick, I finished up Lavender Festival. And this is Lavender and Vanilla. This was strong, like almost like a, a, like a, a dusky kind of Lavender and Vanilla. Like a little bit thick in the air, but definitely, definitely could smell that one. No problem with the scent throw on that. And then from these, these two are from the same same scent and they are called paws in the sand they're cute little paws this is basically uh sunscreen which is hawaiian tropic type and Tallulah sweet escape and i forget what that is i think it's like a fruity blend so this was pretty good right up my daughter's alley so i put a lot of these in my daughter's bedroom 
and sometimes I put it here in my bedroom in a 15 watt hot plate next to my bed. This was pretty good. I still have more because I got a good deal on this. I think she had marked some down that was overstocked. So yeah, I'll probably finish up the rest that I have. So anyway, thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Let me know what your favorites were this month and I will see you in the next video.